Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel and today uh, it's basically a follow-up video to the DX11 uh, gaming video that I made before. So back in the day I explained I could not assign the whole 8 gigabytes of VRAM to the virtual machine because workstation has a restriction you need to assign 16 gigabytes of RAM to the virtual machine to be able to use the 8 gigabytes of RAM of VRAM I mean so yeah that was a problem because uh, uh, 16 was all I had so I could not assign 16 and uh, that made me very sad because I wanted to you know try gigabytes of VRAM in a virtual machine so I went there and got an extra stick actually I replaced my kit because my my single channel was kind of you know 2400 uh, megahertz which is kind of you know slow so I wanted to beef it up a little bit got 3200 megahertz and uh, things got substantially better mainly for gaming not so much on the VM side of things but you know more RAM means more virtual machines running which is also a pretty good thing but that's not a point of video we're you know we want to look at performance figures so yeah you can tell right off the bat there's a difference so if you guys remember from the video we had an average of 40 to 50 frames on very high settings 1080p which is essentially what we're doing right now as you can see it's uh the same thing basically i'm running the same settings I'm not going to show the graphic settings because that means getting back to the main menu because the, the game doesn't let you uh, do that from straight into the game. You got to go back to the menu and then you can look at it. So uh, for time saving sake, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, you can you can see and tell right away the difference is clear. We're running at 60 drops to 59, but that's negligible. I mean. It's a virtual machine, for God's sake. And we're getting 60 FPS, very high settings, which is impressive nonetheless. And the best part, it's still the same GPU usage as you guys could uh, see beforehand when I when I started the video. 50, uh, I mean, not 50, 40%, 35% on average. So essentially the more, uh, we gain performance with the RAM and with the extra VRAM, of course. I'm not sure if it's taking full advantage of the 8 gigabytes of VRAM because then again, it's not a very demanding game. It doesn't really use that much VRAM. As far as I remember, mm, it didn't go past four on my rig. So I'm not sure if it's the VRAM or if it's the high frequency RAM, but the fact is performance is substantially better now. That we have the eight gigabytes, the full eight gigabytes of VRAM. So essentially, it does mean yes, you can use that for gaming. Very solid gaming performance. As you can see, I'm walking around, still 60 FPS. That's fully playable, and uh, the mouse integration is pretty good as well. As you can see, it's pretty seamless, and I don't see any uh, differences compared to playing on my main rig, which is impressive on its own. So yeah. Uh, VMware Workstation 16 made DX11 gaming possible and it's not only possible but holy cow it is actually impressively good it's not just how oh, you can actually load up your game and pretend play because you know with like crappy ass graphics and performance no performance solid so yeah that's a plus and um, now let me close the game so I want to show you guys quit you want to quit without saving yes yeah I want so you can see very high settings still the same thing I kept all the settings from before it's just a no Windows 10 VM this is running uh, the latest build 20h2 something like that as you can see now we have 8 gigabytes of VRAM which is <laughs> it's impressive considering you know for we've been sort of restrained to four gigabytes of VRAM for so long. I think it was three before, then it was four, and now it's eight, which is wow, impressive. I cannot wait to try like Linux gaming with eight gigabytes of VRAM, maybe some OGL gaming. Who knows? Uh, maybe try Proton, 
see how it runs under VMware. Probably not well, but you know, you only know if you give it a go, right? So yeah, that's about it. As you can see, 16 gigabytes of RAM for the virtual machine. Assign all the cores, and I'm impressed with uh, the performance numbers. That's pretty good. So yeah, uh, it's a very nice implementation. It's very solid, very stable, A plus. And that's essentially the video. I don't really want to uh, keep going in that because you know it's just I should show you guys that it actually runs, performance substantially better. You can compare the old videos like gaming on uh, gaming on a virtual machine, DX11 gaming on a virtual machine. That's the video title. If you guys want to look up the figures and compare and it's uh it's quite it's quite different that's a jump i would say a solid jump from like 40 to 50 unstable like hovering all the time up and down to like 60 dropping to 59 that's quite a jump so if you guys are wondering should i upgrade my ram to assign 16 to a virtual machine so that i can use eight gigabytes of your ram yeah you should i mean should you depends what's your goal why <laughs> i mean uh depends if if you actually need you know the the full eight gigabytes of vram for some reason i mean go for it and upgrade i mean more rams is a lot of fun when it comes to virtual machines because you can run more of them or more powerful virtual machines and not only that you can play flight sim on ultra settings so what's not you like about upgrading your ram light you know uh, but it's about it for the video. I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, comment sections right down below. Feel free to leave feedback. You know, whether you liked or disliked it. And, you know, take care.